Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Eichbonner, and this is David Eichbonner Ministries. Today, we are having our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. Those of you who are watching live, I apologize that it is not on our regular schedule, which is Fridays, uh, because I am currently a guest speaker at a church um, pastors and church workers conference. So I've been ministering. I'm, I'm still going to minister. I've done uh, not two out of three sessions. And uh, by the time I'll be coming tomorrow, coming, going back home tomorrow, sorry, I won't be able to meet up with this um, service at the regular schedule. So um, my apologies. Today we are going to be praying. It's our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. We are going to be praying a prayer for restoration. I'm going to read Job chapter 14, verse 7 to 9. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth boughs like a plant. There is hope for a tree that has been cut down. As long as the roots remain, even if they are dry, at the scent of water, it will bud, it will bring forth boughs like a plant. When the times of refreshing come, when the Spirit of God gives you another opportunity, when you have another encounter with the Spirit of God, you have the opportunity to come back strong, to be restored, to be revived, to be reinvigorated. You may have been serving the Lord all this while, and the cares of this world, persecutions, carelessness, took you out of the faith or made you very weak. Or you may even be someone who has not given your life to Jesus Christ. This is your prayer service. This is your prayer service. This is the revival prayer service for you. This is the awakening prayer service for you. Let's begin by giving God thanks. Let us thank the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. Lord, we thank you. You are the most high God. There is none like unto thee. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Lord, we thank you. Thank you that we see this day. Thank you that we are alive. In the name of Jesus, I want you to thank the Lord for specific events in your life. Things you have done that God has delivered you from um, trials, from tribulations. Thank you right now. Thank the Lord for guiding you, guiding your decisions, guiding you and protecting you. Thank you for your family members, your loved ones, giving thanks and giving praise. Thank him that you are born for such a time as this. He has equipped you for such a time as this, giving praise and giving thanks. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to make melody to his name, and to sing praises unto his name. We enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Praise him and give him thanks. Oh, Yahweh, you are glorious so glorious in all your ways for your steadfast love 
never ceases. Your mercies are new every morning. Thank you, Father, for my going out and coming in. Thank you for the conference. Thank you for the revival breaking out. Thank you for what you are doing in our lives. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I give you praise. I give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for this ministry. Thank you for my brothers and sisters praying with me. Lord, thank you for their lives. Thank you that we are in this service together in spirit to pray to you. Lord, hear our prayer. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to let go of every offense you have against anyone. Forgive the sins of those who have offended you. Forgive them. Anyone who has offended you, forgive that person's sin. Let go. Do not keep malice or bitterness in your heart. Let it go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let it go. Let it go. And then confess your sins unto the Lord, asking Him for mercy. Confess your sins unto the Lord, asking for mercy. Asking for mercy. Oh, asking for mercy. Father, have mercy on us. Forgive our thoughts, words, and actions. Forgive, Lord, our sins, we pray. Forgive the foolish speaking, the fornication, the adulteries, the rebellion to parents, the wickedness to children. Forgive, Lord God, the disobedience, the coldness. Have mercy and forgive us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus, O oh Lord. Strengthen us against sin and temptation. May your name be glorified. Remove out of the way any hindrance to our prayers going up to you and the answers coming down to us. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, you may have tried to be a believer and um, you didn't stand for long or you couldn't stand, you fell back. You may have been hurt by people who were supposed to be believers or even believers. Believers hurt each other. But you do not reject God because of the failures of his people. God is not human. Human beings will fail you. Even those that have impeccable character are not perfect. For as long as we are in this flesh, we will make mistakes. So do not reject the gospel because of the errors of some people. Don't do that. I want you right now to ask the Lord to restore his, the joy of his salvation. When the joy of his salvation is restored to you, the excitement will come back. The zeal to pray. The desire to study God's word. The desire to fellowship with other brethren will return. One sign that you are going cold is that you lose interest in prayer, lose interest in studying God's word, the Bible, and listening to teachings. You lose interest in fellowship. It's just like when someone is falling sick. One of the symptoms of most sicknesses is loss of appetite and weakness. So you feel weak to pray. You lose appetite for the word of God. It's a sign that there's a problem. I want you, if you have been born again before and you have left the path or you have grown cold, I want you right now to pray, Lord, restore to me the joy of your salvation. 
just be praying that right now and anyone listening to me you are not born again you are not a christian the times we are in are very treacherous we need to be born again we need to put first what is most important your eternity pray with me while the rest of you are praying for revival in yourself those of you who have not fallen who are not falling You've been standing strong. Pray that the fire of God in your life will increase. So now those of you who want to give your life to Christ, pray with me. You can repeat after me or you call upon the Lord in your own words. Let's go. Lord God Almighty, I repent of my sins. I yield myself to you. I confess and accept Jesus Christ, your Son, as my Lord and Savior. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Fill me and baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Keep me holy and righteous till the day I meet you. Thank you, my Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You pray that prayer, you are born again. Now everyone begin to pray and say, Lord, may your fire burn in me. May your fire, the fire of holiness, the fire of your word burn in my heart, in my bones, and may it spread in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that your fire will burn in me and spread, that I will be a carrier of your fire, that through me you will ignite the world with the fires of revival, the fires of, our, of holiness, the fire of righteousness and awakening. Lord, I pray that your word will proceed forth out of my mouth as fire to consume everyone that uh, it comes in contact with. That the revival, the mighty move of your Holy Spirit will be great in my life and through my life. Lord, fill my heart with the joy of thy salvation. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, fill our hearts with the joy of thy salvation. Fill our hearts with the joy of thy salvation. Stay in us the zeal for your house. Stay in us in us the zeal for your work. The zeal for fellowship with you. The zeal for your house. Lord, stay in us the zeal for your house. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the fire of the Holy One burn in us and through us. Lord, your word is like fire in our bones. Lord, we pray that it will go forth with power. Lord, may our lives be filled with your presence. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those who are rededicating their lives to you who were once walking in the path of righteousness but due to sin lusts and other things persecutions departed or stopped walking in the fullness of the, of life lord i pray for their restoration restore lord god restore them oh god restore them I pray in the name of Jesus. O oh, Holy Spirit, like the scent of water, give life to the dry roots. Give life to the old roots. Give life to the stalk that has been dead in the earth. Lord, give life to our lives. Give life to our spiritual lives, our walk with you. Give life to our Bible study. Give life to our prayer. Give life to our service to you, O Holy Spirit. 
move mightily in our midst. Wherever this service is participated in, whoever comes in contact with this service, Lord, I pray that you will touch that person. I pray your presence will manifest there. Everywhere this service is participated in, Lord, may your presence be manifest there. In the name of Jesus, may your presence be manifest there. In the name of Jesus, Father, touch everyone. Touch them, oh God. Let the fire of your love burn in their hearts for the unsaved, for the saved. Lord, may our love not wax cold. In the midst of crookedness, of a crooked generation, may our love not wax cold. Father, help us. Give us grace. Give us grace to walk in your ways. Give us grace to walk in your ways. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to thank the Lord for restoration. Thank him for restoration in your life. Give him thanks for he has restored you. Give him thanks for he has restored you. Give him praise. Give him thanks. In the mighty name of Jesus, give him thanks. Lord, thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for revival breaking out. Thank you for the people who have come to you. Lord, thank you for those who have repented of their sins. Thank you for those who are now born again. Lord, thank you for the resurrection power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead has quickened us. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, brothers and sisters, flee sexual sins. Avoid whatsoever could make you spiritually cold. Avoid sins. Avoid environments that promote sins. People that promote sin. It is how you finish that is more important than how you started. In fact, the Bible says that if a righteous person departs from his righteousness and dies in that state, all his previous righteousness will be forgotten. And if an unrighteous person departs from his unrighteousness and becomes righteous and dies while righteous, all his previous sins will be forgotten. The thief that was crucified with Jesus, there were two of them. One was mocking Jesus. The other one acknowledged that he was there as punishment for his sin. And then he looked at Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you come in your kingdom. And Jesus said, Behold, today you will be with me in paradise. A sinner, a person who has lived a wicked life, a thief, he has lived, he is now being crucified, he is bleeding to death. And at the last moment, he repents of his sin and he is given access and residency in paradise. Don't boast of your past works. Be zealous for new works, for new things. Be zealous to grow in God. Don't boast of the past. Let the greatest miracle in your life, let the greatest testimony in your life be the next one, not the past one. Stay strong by studying the word of God and pray. Acts chapter 6 verse 4. And we must continue in prayer and the ministry of the word. So you are supposed to pray. Make prayer a lifestyle. Like your food. Make it something that you can't do without. Let prayer even be more important than your food. Because there are times you can fast, but let, let there be no day that you don't pray. There are days you don't eat, but there should be no day 
that you don't pray. There should be no day you don't meditate on scriptures. Even if your Bible is not available, remember the scriptures. Think about them. Build yourself, feed your spirit with the word. And you stay strong. Don't feed a bad habit. Starve every bad habit in your life. And may the Lord bless you. You can follow me on various social media platforms. On Rumble, on BitChute, on Brighton, on Locals.com, on SoundCloud, TikTok, I'm also there. And uh, odc.com, Patreon. You'll find me on Gab also, gab.com. You'll find me as David Igbona or David Igbona Ministries. Igbona is spelled A I G B O N A. A I G B O N A. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.